Hi, I'm Ms. Spiller. This is AQR. I wanted to really quickly go over the choice boards. So, okay, so this is your landing page on Schoology. This is your week at a glance. There'll be one of those every week. So I want to point out, this is the attendance form. So every day you need to click on that and fill out the attendance form in Google Forms uh, for AQR. Um, these are the links for the Zoom sessions on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Okay, so what I wanted to show you is the choice boards. So every week you're going to get a choice board, and most of the choice boards will be a little bit more involved than this week's. This week's is a, a little bit um, easier because it's our first week. But the choice board is basically, let me pull this one up, it might be faster. It looks like this. It looks like a grid with a bunch of colors. So this is this week's. It's just kind of an intro choice board. Starting with next week, it'll look more like this second one. So the way these work, these contain everything you need for the course for the week. The maroon squares are, are required, so everybody has to do those. And then the gray and the yellow ones are the ones that you get to choose. So you have to choose at least one gray, one yellow. But you do have the option of doing all of them. I'll talk about that in a second. So the first thing you do when you open up a new choice board for the week, the first thing you're going to want to do is go into the maroon squares and watch all the videos. So these blue links right here are the links for the videos that you need. So it's telling you how we're going to do whatever it is that we're doing. This is like the equivalent of your classroom lecture. These are these videos. So this is the instructional material. You need these. And you want to do these first before you attempt like the, the problems, because otherwise you're going to be sitting there going, what? what? Yeah. So the first thing you do is you watch all the videos in the maroon squares. Then you do your activities. So on these, the gray ones are a little bit easier. The yellow ones are a little bit more involved. You have to pick, pick at least one yellow and one gray. So that's why it's a choice board, right? You get to choose. So like on this one, you might pick this one. What are the latitude and longitude coordinates of Summer Creek? So you would go online, you would find that, and that's your assignment. So that's the, that's the exercise with that. For the yellow one, it's a little bit more involved. Plot the following points on a hurricane tracking chart. Those are your coordinates, and you would plot them, and you would submit those. So when you look at, let me go back to this. So this is our first week. When you look at it in Schoology, it'll have the choice board in the course content folder under the week, you know, the folder for that week. You'll see the choice board, and then underneath it will be the, the actual um, homework assignments. So like this one is our choice board one. It's a little bit shorter. This is your gray activity. This is your yellow activity. Normally, yellow-gray would be together. And normally, so like you would go through, you would do that, you would submit it, you're done for the week. On the choice boards, though, Notice there are more squares, right? So there are more yellows and more grays. If you choose to do all of them, so your choice is to, like the minimum value that you, the minimum that you're required to do is one yellow, one gray. And then, so that would count as your choice board. And then after the end of the unit, you would have a test. But if you don't like tests or you just rather not take a test, you do have the option of doing the full board. So for that unit, like say there are three choice boards for that unit. Then if you do all of the yellows and all of the grays, so instead of, in this case, three grays, two yellow, I mean, instead of one gray, one yellow, you do three grays, two yellows. If you do that for this board and for the next board, then if you did the full boards, you don't have to take the test. Like, it's an automatic 100 on a test grade. That's if you did the full boards and if you got it right. Um, so, yeah, so I would recommend doing that because it's a whole lot more fun than to test it. It's really not that much more work. So in this case... It's choice board two and three. Um, so that would have been five, nine, wait, wait. Let's see if I could count. So that's basically 10 problems between these two boards versus like 30 problems on a test. So I would recommend doing the full boards, then you don't have to take your test. The number of problems will vary. But yeah, so that's a choice board. So basically, you open your choice board, you do the maroon squares first. And then you decide if you want to do the yellow, one yellow, one gray, or if you want to do the full board. And you would go below that. In this case, on the first one, since it's only one yellow, one gray, I just have one yellow, one gray. But normally it would be like yellow, gray, and the next one would be full board. So you would pick one of those to do. If you do the full board, it automatically counts for your yellow, gray, because it's in there. So yeah, that's your choice board. Yay!